Hi, and welcome to another tutorial video from Archie Learning. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your very first course. Let's get started. Now, if you're like me and you're on the launch checklist, you can quite simply click create a course. You can see that I've already created a course, so it's ticked off. So what I'll be doing is going over into my courses. Now you can see that I have some example courses here, but if you're starting from scratch, click on create a course. Once you've clicked create a course, Archie will walk you through setting up the information to create your course. First things first, you want to put in a bit of information about your course. Your course name, a quick summary, course information, what category it sits under, and an image for your course cover. Once you've filled out this section, click on continue or save changes. Next you'll want to build your curriculum. Now your curriculum is pretty self-explanatory, but it's effectively the structure of how your course is built. This is where all your course information will be, all your course content, videos, quizzes, exams, and even video games. What you'll want to do is, when you first start out, you'll be given a, a blank page. I have an example here for one class, and I can expand it out. And you can see that I've got a few lessons inside of this. The way that it works is that you have classes, and then you have lessons. You can also move your lessons and create as many as you need. For example, if I wanted to move this what is Archie learning lesson to the top, quite simply click and drag it and drop it. You can see for example I've got final exam and that should be at the end. So I'll click it, drag it and drop it. Once you're happy with the structure of your lessons, you can click save and continue. Populating your lessons is very straightforward. Quite simply expand the lesson and Archie will have five elements that you can create and pull into the lesson. In this example, I have a video that I've self-hosted and dragged it into this section, or you can embed it using YouTube or Vimeo, and I've got a text area. If I'd prefer to have the text area above the video, for example, again, you can click and drag, and you can see that you can move the structure of the lessons around. If you'd like to add a different element to your course, maybe an exam or a quiz, click on this orange button and you'll be given the option to select quiz, exam, game, or maybe another lesson. I'm going to select quiz. Inside of this section, Archie will walk you through how to put together the quiz and start to add your questions in. You can add as many questions in before you populate them so you can kind of see from a bird's eye view how your quiz is looking. Once you're happy with your quiz or lesson that you've created, you can add another class by closing that class, clicking on the new class button, and a new class will be populated. Once you're happy with how your curriculum is looking and you're ready to get started, you can move on to pricing. Now in your pricing section, you can sell your course as a free course, a one-time payment, or a subscription. For one-time or subscription pricing, if you haven't set up a payment processor, we have another video to walk you through how to do that. Moving on, we're gonna move into pages. Now Archie will give you two default pages, a sales page and a thank you page. You can edit them as is or you can preview how they look as default. However, I'd really recommend you jump in and start to edit them. We have another video on how to edit your sales pages and thank you pages. Once you're happy with these two pages, click into course settings. Inside of course settings, you have a few different options as to how your students will engage with your product. Whether or not you want comments, you can turn that on and off. You can also control how your course is published. Archie supports privately published courses, which are visible on your website and visible through a direct link. Or you can publish your course to the Open Student Library. Once your course is in the Open Student Library, it'll be available for any student on Archie to see. If you want to certify your course, you can use a credible and the Accredible API key and create certificates on Accredible to integrate into the course that you've created. This means that once your student has finished the course, Accredible will supply them a certified certificate. Once you're happy with your settings, click on Save Changes. And that about wraps up today's video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out through our Zendesk integration or directly to support at archielearning.com. See ya.